Is Dustin going to shock the world or is the writing already on the wall? Before we get into that, if you're new here, make sure you subscribe as we have brand new videos every single week. So Fight Week is here and UFC 302 is this Saturday. Islam Makachev is going to be defending his lightweight title against Dustin Poirier. But who is leaving champion? I think Dustin Poirier is going to shock the world. That is my bold prediction, Dwayne. I know a lot of people might even laugh at me. I think Dustin, <laughs> I don't want to say he's got this in the bag completely, but I, it just feels like he's got something right up his sleeve. And I think Islam's first defense against a lightweight is going to be his last. I think Dustin's going to do, do him. What about you? Or are you predicting just a <sighs> grapple heavy matchup? Yeah, I think, unfortunately, the writing on the walls for Dustin, isn't it? It's We've seen him fight people like Islam before, with Khabib, with Charles Oliveira, these heavy, strong grapplers. And I think Dustin just is not going to be able to hang with someone like Islam Makachev. I think it's going to be over very quickly, within two rounds. Um, I, really, I just think... Dustin got overwhelmed so much by someone like Benoit Saint Denis, and yeah, of course he pulled it back. But I don't know if he's going to be able to pull it back against someone like Islam. But we have seen Islam be dropped before. You know, he's been finished, and he got rocked by Alexander Volkanovsky. He's he he's good on the feet, but he's not that good. And Dustin could could just catch him, but uh, I doubt it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, it's an interesting point is that, though, with uh, Benoit Saint-Denis. Obviously, that was like, because he was ranked number 12 or something. <clears throat> Excuse me. The pace that he had in that first round, you think, he ain't keeping this up. No. Islam can. Islam, he's a well-rounded fighter. He's the champion for a reason. He was on an X amount of fight, winning streak. But he is up against one of the absolute best in the division of Dustin Poirier. He's almost like the... Like, Weight version of Volkanovski is like the perfect blend of a fighter. Yeah. Other than grappling <laughs> against Charles <laughs> and against Khabib in the past. But third time lucky. Let's go, Dustin. He knows what he's stepping in for. Finish your story, Dustin. Like Cody Rhodes, you will be champion. This is what <laughs> Well, that's the thing. It would be great to see Dustin finish his story, wouldn't it? But Dustin has notoriously fumbled the bag when it comes to sh title shots. He's lost to Khabib, he's lost to Charles, he's lost to Justin. And I think that pressure just gets a bit too much for him. Do you think the pressure is going to get to him this time again? I think that he's well aware of the pressure and he's well aware that this is probably... I Personally, I think it's probably going to be one of his last last appearances in general not just run at the title but i do think that he's going to be well aware of the pressure and he's going to equip himself as best as he can do to cope with that pressure and i think like i said i just think he's going to be able to pull something out of the bag to bring islam and drag him into the deep waters himself dustin's there for a reason he's got fantastic yeah. boxing he's got good enough grappling the question is can he contest and can he hang with one of the best grapplers in this division in its yeah, entirety. Well, that's exactly it, isn't it? When it comes to Dustin's grappling, you know, we've seen him struggle against these high grapplers again, like Khabib, like Charles, like Benoit Saint Denis. Do you think if this goes to the ground, that's it? It's all over for Dustin? It could well be. Um, and this is the scary thing. It depends what kind of fight we get. Because everyone seems to think that when you, well, it's true. Everyone says when you're up against like, you know, Khabib or Islam, all you're doing is defense. But it depends mm. what kind of fight you get, you know, like, because he's well aware of this. If it stays standing, like I just said, Dustin's one of the best boxers in that division itself. And a lot of people sleep on his stand up game. It's very possible that he can catch Islam. Very, very possible. Islam's got power himself, but this is what makes us tune in, isn't it? You think it's very easy to say that this is just going to be a rag doll. He's going to get him down. He's going to tire out his shoulders and he's going to choke him out like Khabib, like Oliveira did. Mm. But when he gets when he gets a bit overzealous and he gets a bit overconfident, I think there's going to be a big right uppercut coming his way. Yeah, there really could be. And, you know, Justin Sean, that is... Fairly decent on the ground, doesn't he? You know, he's he's obviously got submissions under his belt. He he knows what he's doing. And that's the thing, losing grappling to people like Khabib and Charles, you know, these guys are like the best grapplers in the world. There's a big difference, isn't there? Um, 
But do you think that Dustin is going to try and throw out the guillotine? Do you think that's <laughs> right? He's going to try and get that over Islam because he he did lock it in against Khabib though, didn't he? And it was in pretty tight. I mean, it wouldn't be a Dustin Poirier fight if he didn't throw out the ghillie. You know, like that's what we're looking forward to, isn't it? Can't yeah. wait for him to to get that attempt it about seven times until he gets choked out himself. <laughs> No, I, he's, I don't know why. It's like he's desperate for this submission finish on his record. You know, obviously he choked out Michael Chandler, but I think he just wants this guillotine submission and then he's going to cement that, frame it, put it on his wall next to his belt and then he's going to hang up the gloves. That's what I think. Yeah. <laughs> I think the opposite, really. I don't think... I think if he gets the belt here, he's going to go one more big tear. I'm a I'm the champion. A lot of people are watching me. I'm going to sell lots of pay per views. That's his chance to make a big pile of cash, right? He's been wanting this gold for a long, long time, and he's already shown that he can sort of dominate a lot of people in this division. You know, he could have another rematch with Max. He could have a rematch with Justin. He could have a rematch with Charles. He could have a rematch with Connor. All those people are there on the line, ready to go. People he's beat already, and get some good defences in, right? Um, But sort of talking about Dustin's guillotine, let's go back to that just for a little bit. Islam said that he's got a big surprise for this fight. Do you think Islam might attempt to guillotine himself? And do you think that'll be a bit of an embarrassment for Dustin if Islam Makachev finishes Dustin with a guillotine? It would be absolutely rubbing his face in the mat, wouldn't it? It's yeah. when a dog pisses your carpet and you're rubbing it. <laughs> That's exactly what it's going to do. And yeah, it would be quite embarrassing, wouldn't it? You know, you couldn't get this done about 10 times in your last fight. I'm going to go get it done. I'm going to secure this submission in the very first time that I try it. I think a big surprise though there, it could be his stand-up that he wants to do because that would shock mm. everyone. If Islam, he's got good stand-up, but he doesn't really showcase it again great deal you know it's usually no. his grappling that is his best friend and that's his biggest ally but I think that he might come out and just want to stand with Dustin he's got some power as well and he can do it but I think that might be his biggest mistake yeah I agree as well like you were saying there if he's going to try and surprise him I think it will be with his stand up I think you're right there and he's shown that he's a good striker look he dropped Charles Oliveira he <sighs> KO'd Alexander Volkanovsky. It hurts me just even thinking yeah, about it's it. It's still sore, isn't it? <laughs> but, like, look how perfectly placed that kick was, right? It was literally spot on, you know? the Volk even put his hand up to defend it, and Islam just placed it perfect, right to the top of his dome, and finished him there. So maybe he could do that with Dustin, but like you were saying, I think that'll be Islam's big mistake. If he tries to stand with someone like Dustin, he's getting finished, without a shadow of a doubt, I think. It's absolutely possible. But this is, again, this is what makes us want to tune in, though, isn't it? Because a lot of people, they do think that Dustin's just going to get ran over in this fight from start mm -hmm. to finish. I think, look, he's there for a reason. He's Dustin Poirier. It is hard to believe that the names that he's got on his resume, that he's never been champion, the names that he's beat, the big fight field that he's been in, how, however many main events, he is a main event star. But yeah. He's never been a champion. So there's a lot on the line in this fight. A lot of people are sleeping on this card. But it's, this is a big fight for you, this. This is a massive fight. It is humongous. And that's the thing, isn't it? I think a lot of people are underestimating Dustin here. Even me a little bit as well. You know, you just think, well, it feels like the writing's on the wall. But someone who definitely seems to be underestimating Dustin is Islam Makachev. He's been talking about Dustin doesn't deserve a title shot. This is an easy win for him. He's going to make this easy. Do you think he is coming out and underestimating Dustin Poirier? Absolutely. You have a look at what Full Camp Volk did to him last year. A lot of people think that Volk actually won that fight. So when you've got Full Camp Dustin Poirier, who's been around probably longer or just around about the same time as Islam, he's there for a reason and he is a true lightweight. He, that might that might be a big downfall for it, downfall for him, underestimating his opponent. You know, it's not like he can just text Khabib, what's the cheat code to beat Dustin Poirier? He's got to do it himself. <laughs> and it's not as if Dustin hasn't evolved since then as well. That's mm. an interesting point. You remember the uh, the second Connor fight where Dustin knocked him out? Everyone kept saying, look how far Connor's fallen. And no one was saying, look how far along Dustin's come. It's a yeah. blend of both. You know, he's always there. He's always sharpening his tools, keeping himself, you know, in full camp. I wish he'd fight a little bit more, Dustin Poirier, but he is slowing down in this late stage in his career. 
I think I'd swear, swear, come back to this video. I think Dustin's gonna have something big planned up his sleeve. Yeah, it does it does feel like there's gonna be a bit of a shock, doesn't it? Feels there's something interesting gonna happen on this card. Or maybe we already know what's gonna happen and Paul Dustin's gonna be out within a round, but we'll have to wait and see. But it does feel as though Islam is gonna make light work of Dustin, but maybe, just maybe. Dustin Poirier can prove us all wrong. Thank you for watching. If you can like, comment and subscribe, it really does help us out.